The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 220 pounds, Eddie Edwards. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. And his partner from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 290 pounds, Morse. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. And their opponents, first, from New York, weighing in at 172 pounds, Romy Ray Yu. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And his partner from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Deaver. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE.
Both legal Ouch. men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. It's the mark. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Bang! Butter! What a stomp! Good grief! Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, nasty impact. He's starting to show... Here's a cover. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Just needs to do more damage. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Drop kick hits the mark. The two out of three falls match, you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus. It was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broad kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jim Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Ooh. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, Drake right across the top. Better stay right where he is. No reverses it. Close line! Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition. He's looking at it. Shining wizard right to the jaw. This one is over. Here's the cover. The pen's broken up. the ape. 
friend. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really slammed down hard. He's playing with him now. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Oh boy, he is rolling. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos Brothers, Stevens and Patterson. Stevens and here we go a second time. Shining oh. Wizard! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 That's no. Super nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. Here he goes. Right between the shoulder blades into the pump handle. Backbreaker flawlessly executed. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. In a tag team. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Whoa! Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. He knows he's in trouble. Looking at it here. Harsh impact. His shoulders are down. Two, and a kick out. Not yet. He's making a statement here with this attack. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. 
for a tag to be considered legal. Both. This could end it in a hurry. Oh, oh no. Wow, what a lariat. Almost took his head off. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Most of the twist. Spear! Game, set, map. He goes for the cover. more damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Beautiful technique. Down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Go! Oh, no! Nah, what a lariat. Almost took his head off. That should do it. And now one more time. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. You gotta believe this one's over. Keep your eye on this one. He might have it. Look at this. And the slam. Looks like he's starting to tire. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. It looks to me like he may have lost focus there for a minute. He was really cruising for a while. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Hooked up and belly a back suplex. Suplex. The intensity of this match has been incredible. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Ooh, what an up. Float over. Oh. And DDT! Fight them. But can he follow up here? He's going for the pin. One. An easy kick out there. What a match. Boom, what impact. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. This one's over, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Three! Now, that's an impressive tag team victory. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here are your winners, Eddie Edwards and Morse. And there's your winner via pinfall. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.